In this guide, we have a fun exercise, especially if you use social media and you use things like hashtags. If you're not familiar with it, what a hashtag is, is essentially it is a string that has a little hash mark right in front of it. So this could be fun words and then you know, keep on going and that's what a set of hashtags are. So what we are asked to do in this exercise is to take a string and then to put a hash mark in front of each word. So each one of these should have a hashtag exactly like we see in the test expectation. So that is a relatively straightforward thing. One little item of note is that the string should be able to receive the method called hashtag generator. So the first thing that that tells me is we need to open up the string class and add a new method to it. So I'm going to create the method called hashtag generator. It's not gonna take any arguments. And now inside of this, this is a pretty straightforward thing, but I'm still gonna take my time in going through it. Let's copy this code right here and paste it down so that we have some test data to work with. So if this is a coding interview question, which it is a popular one for that, the very first thing that I would think that I would need to do is to see how I could split these words up because if you need to be able to do something such as slice these tags in front of each word, that'd be very difficult to do via something like a regular expression. So using a tool such as Gsub is probably not gonna be your best bet. Instead, what I would recommend is first to split it. So if I call the split method on this, then what I can do is run it and you'll see that the string has now been turned into an array of string elements and by default split is if you don't pass in any arguments to it it will simply split it on a space by space basis which is exactly what is happening right here so that's the very first thing now the next thing that i would do is i would build it in a way so that i could take each one of those array elements and then I could perform some work on them. And if you've been following along, you know that one of the most popular methods in Ruby is the map method. The map method allows you to iterate over a collection, but then to make changes to each and every element, which is exactly what we want. We want to iterate over each of those string words and we want to add a hashtag right in front of it. So it's something that is right up maps alley. So I'm gonna say map do, and for the block variable, I'll just call it E. Now inside of this, I'm going to use double quotations and that is required. And then I'm gonna use string interpolation. Now, the reason why I'm going to use two hashtags is because if you're fam uh, familiar with string interpolation, you know that you can use a single hash mark followed by curly braces, and anything inside of the curly braces is going to get evaluated by Ruby. Now I'm putting two of them because we want to add a hash right in front of this. So I want to add a hash mark right in front of each word. And so that's why I'm using two of them. The way this is gonna work is it's going to start iterating over the collection because it's converted it to an array. And then it's just going to add a hash in front of this in front of this and it's going to keep on going down so the letter e there is a block variable that's going to represent each word we're going to add one hash mark and then it's going to be whatever the value of the word is right here so now let's see what we have with this so as you can see that this is almost there so we now have an array that has each one of the words that has a hashtag right in front of it. So far, so good. We are only one step away from being done because if you notice the difference, what the expectation is, is that we have a ha uh, not just a array of hashes, but we actually have a string. 
And if you think of a real world scenario of this, imagine that you were building some type of social media application and you needed to be able to take a set of words, convert them into hashtags, and then give them back to the user. Well, that is something that is very common. And the way that you would do it is by giving, uh, converting it to an array like we did, but then you have to convert it back to a string. So how can we do that? Well, right at the end, I can just say join, and inside of join, I'm going to put a space as an argument. So what this is going to do is it is going, join takes an array and it converts that array into a string and then it separates each one of the array elements by whatever the argument is. So in this case, it's going to separate each one of them with the space, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, if I run this, you can see that we have successfully taken our array and uh, we still kept our hash tags and all that kind of good thing. And now it's returning a single string, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna grab all of this and let's paste it up in our method. And we don't need this string variable anymore we can just call split and by default this is going to call it on any string that it gets passed to and now i'm going to save this moving down i can call str dot hashtag generator and we should end up with the same output and as you can see that worked perfectly let's verify it by running our test this is going to be our spec and this is February 28th, which will be the last exercise, assuming that you're not in a leap year. And as you can see, that worked perfectly. So we have now built a hashtag generator in Ruby.